Hey everybody, welcome to another episode and welcome as always to Paris. I'm so happy to have you here today and I'm quite excited for this walk. As you can see, it's off to a good start already. It's late May right now and this is really the time of year in Paris where you, you should really seek out your favorite garden spaces because they are usually beautifully in bloom. And uh, today we're going to explore one that is a bit lesser known, which of course is always part of one of our fun goals of this series. This is called the Promenade Perrier. And it's out here in the 17th, right along the edge of the, the northwestern edge of Paris. And this is going to be a lovely walk indeed. And we'll do this little promenade. And then perhaps if we have time, I'll show you some of the nearby 17th arrondissement. So the Promenade Perrier follows the path of an old 19th century railway. Um, I'll pull up a postcard here real quick of exactly where we are and what it looked like in the 1800s. And as you can see, it was quite, quite a different ambiance. We'll talk more about the origins of this of that old railway in a moment. Uh, but you can see a street on these postcards. One of them is beautif beautifully colorized. You can see uh, a street mentioned called the Rue Garzon, which happens to be the street that I'm, I've got at my back right now. And I happen to think that it's the best place to start this walk if you're interested, if you want to visit here yourself. So seek out the Rue Garzon and put it at your back and walk northward up the promenade. And that's what we'll be doing today. The closest metro stations are called Terne, which is the number two line, or you can get off at Porte Maillot, which is the number one metro line and the RERC. And these rose arches, as I step down, you're gonna get a, a feel for this beautiful walkway. I'll back up just a little bit. So we're right at the start of my favorite part of the Promenade Perrier. When I originally wanted to do this episode, I biked all the way out here to the 17th and realized these roses weren't in bloom yet, but I'm fortunate enough to have similar type roses in my own yard. And so I used those as a gauge to be able to tell when it was time to come back out here. So here we go. The most well-known garden walkway in Paris is definitely La Coule Verte over by La Bastille, extending east away from Bastille. It's also known as the Promenade Plantée sometimes. This one is much lesser known uh, and it's much further from central Paris, which makes it very serene and calm, uh, very hidden and, and visited almost exclusively by locals. It's got a great isolated quality to it because we've got uh, lovely architecture to each side, mostly 19th century, early 20th century architecture which I will try to remember to give you glimpses of, although it's hard to not get distracted by the beautiful flowers, as you'll see. But it's got a, a diverse range of flowers, depending on the time of year. You come here, everything from roses to peonies to wisteria. And the views are spectacular. Now, if you're watching the premiere right now on YouTube, you are hopefully chatting live with me as we watch together. Keep in mind, you can bump up the resolution to 1080p and you can also leave super chats if you want to support the cause here. And I will turn around and show you what's at the, what's behind us, what we've already done. Speaking of the resolution of the video, if you're watching the replay in the future, you can actually uh, turn it up to 4K resolution if you wish if you really want to get the most out of these beautiful views. I don't know why the premiere on YouTube doesn't allow me to go all the way to 4K. It's just one of their rules. But know that if you're watching at a later date, feel free to increase the quality. Oh, and I hope, like me, you have already fallen in love with the Promenade Perret. And these lovely light green lampposts that we'll see plenty of. It's a cloudy and somewhat drizzly day, but I'm hoping that we'll get little splashes of, of sunlight here and there to help complete the tableau, as it were. So how about the history of this beautiful garden promenade? It's named after two, two brothers, the Perret brothers, who were bankers and members of parliament under the empire of Napoleon III in the mid 19th century. And in 1852, those brothers founded a bank that specialized in uh, giving out loans to corporations and municipalities. And so they were behind some of the very historic industrial developments across France and beyond. 
And when Baron Haussmann, in fact, ran out of financing to complete his renovations of Paris, the boulevards, the avenues, the, the grand architectural schemes, he ran out of cash, Haussmann, and he was actually having trouble um, getting money to complete those projects. And a lot of the large banks of, of France wouldn't even touch it uh, because it was such a, a risky proposition that Haussmann was, was bringing forth. And so it was the Perrier brothers who came up at the last minute, swooped in, and gave Haussmann the money he needed to complete uh, his works. So a lot of the upscale development of the 17th arrondissement is thanks to the Perrier brothers. And they um, really became titans of French industry in the 19th century. What they, uh, one reason they're related to this walkway and why it's named after those brothers is because they're most famously linked to the development of railways in France. And one of them used to be here. It was called La Petite Ceinture, the little belt that was wrapping around the western side of Paris. And it was covered over and in the late 80s turned into a garden walkway. Hmm. Delicious. In fact, today what's running underneath us is the RERC line. So there are still tracks, but they were covered up long ago. We've got a building here that I can't show you too much of, but it's, a, it's an example of Art Deco. And because Art Deco is rather rare to see in Paris, I thought I would point it out. You can see it's, it's from the 1920s. The ironwork, the doorways. And I realize I'm giving you a limited view, but just if you're curious, you can see there are the, uh, the motif on the side of the building and rather subdued compared to the previous Art Nouveau style, but just a little glimpse of 1929. and pop myself back down. This is a spot where you always got to remember to look behind you. And we got the family starting to filter into the garden. Wow, these views. We'll see some kids and families up because it happens to be a national holiday today, so school is out. School is off today. Got a lot of French people um, enjoying a little bit of an extended weekend starting today. And we're not in a rush here. We're just going to enjoy and spin ourselves. We'll pirouette ourselves round and round as we go. So lush and so green. The section here, speaking of kids, is much more, just, just this one little section happens to be much much more paved and for um, hopscotch and soccer and things of that nature. But luckily we've got a detour. If you're doing this walk yourself and you'd like to take a detour through uh, a little park here, I'll show you the name of it because it's a bit of a mouthful for me to say to y'all. And I love the way that you enter this park. And it opens up into this, which is admittedly surrounded by very modern buildings. But you'll see that there are some, some nice quiet leafy spaces as well, almost of a, like a forest vibe. And the walkway that we were on previously was already, you could call it a hidden gem, so to speak. But here you're even hidden beyond the hidden. going to walk us through the forest right now. Why not? And 
nice playground over there for the kids, if you can see beyond the trees. We've got quite a unique looking fir tree here. Nice little contemplative spot. Why don't we walk around there? Take in all of these beautiful colors. What I'm particularly um, responding to, we could say, and what I'm particularly loving is the, the variation in colors. It's not just all pinks and reds. You've got yellows and oranges and light pinks and some purples thrown in there. And it's really, ooh, almost tripped. It's all right. If you don't trip, trip once in a while, it just means you're not looking around enough. Here comes a little bit of sunlight. Look at the variation in greens between these two trees. When I was a young painter and trying to, to paint landscapes, I would make the, often make the mistake of using the same green for all the trees. You can see clearly the good artists realize that those hues can vary greatly. Wow, look at this. It's just me or we're living in an impressionist painting today. Wow. For those of you who like to take screenshots of my episodes, I hope that you'll enjoy these crisp HD views today. And here we go too, let's not miss this little splash of color. Lovely, oh, it's lovely. And now we'll get back to the Promenade Pereira. Nice tall doorway, which I'm a fan of. Love the doors that extend up into the second floor. And the truth is you can do an al always look up tour around here because the 17th has plenty of good architecture. No doubt about that. And I think in the interest of time, I'll just uh, edit and skip ahead just a few steps to get us back to the walkway, which is what you see right in front of us. Okay, so rejoining the walkway. We've still got all sorts of beautiful stuff to see. Look at this section. So we're continuing our, our walk northward. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I think it would behoove us to Enjoy all the various angles. A little bit with the lamppost. Love the color of these lamps. Oh, 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 oh. What I like about approaching from the southern end of this walk is, in a way, things start off really beautiful and then get even better and better as you make your way northward. So um, I kind of wish I could walk outside of the arches, but of course they're designed. Maybe that view. At the end of this section, sadly, as you might have seen, there's a, a big trash can and recycling receptacle, which I guess is good to keep the park clean. But for these perspectives, for the composition, perhaps, a little less than desirable, but at this point, who's going to complain? I'm not. Look at this. It's just so well done. And I do hope you're enjoying it. All right, here we go.
Here's another section that's a little less flowery, but it will lead us to the next spectacular garden. Here you've got a gazebo of sorts. Must be fun. I'd imagine a few times a year you might find uh, some musicians up there or something. Why not another little pirouette? Of course, packed with benches because you're supposed to supposed to just come and enjoy and sit and watch. Some very high-end real estate all around. This is a little modern bit of an art installation. Modern, 1988. Definitely considered modern in this town. And it's pretty minimalist, but it's a landscape of trees and hills and such. I don't know much about this, I admit, but I wonder if this is supposed to represent a bit of the topography of what this neighborhood once looked like. What they called the Plaine uh, Monceau. We're not far from the Parc Monceau. Whew. Big playground to my right here. Kids are loving it if they live here. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Here's a reference point of the street that we're on. If it's still called that, I hope, hope it is. Yeah, it is. That's still the name of the street. And once traffic allows, we'll continue with another lovely section. And then what's wild is you're gonna see, uh, even once we get off of this promenade, what we will immediately run into at the end is a little, uh, or a big roundabout with a square, uh, a park in the center, which is just as lovely as far as flowers go. Wow, that's a lot of traffic. Here we go. C'est très gentil, monsieur, merci. Ping pong tables that I'm passing by here. So it's got the playgrounds, the benches, the rose bushes, the ping pong tables, hopscotch for the kids. Another playground here. And bear with me because we are getting to another spectacular section. Just beyond these little kiddos. Right here, check this out. There aren't any signs that say to keep off the grass, so I'm just gonna cut across so you can get this perspective here as we enter. So flanked on either side, well, first of all, by benches and then by those lovely street lamps. And then look at this, we're gonna take it nice and slow. Oh, look at that perspective right there. We'll even allow the gentleman on the right to enter our composition. Why not? He seems like a nice guy. These flowers are just a little bit past their, their prime. The combo of the flowers and the architecture, I mean, oh man, come on. And then look at this. Flowers that are definitely still in their prime. Again, this is late May. So if you want to frame a reference for one of the best times to come through here, 
the thing about these Parisian parks is they tend to have beautiful blooms uh, multiple times of the year because everything is planned out so well. So let us make our way through the first arch. We're talking some pretty feel-good vibes here, folks. Hope you're feeling it too. Mm. Someone's even smoking a, a flavored cigar, almost smells like a vanilla cigar. And I'm, I'm digging it, even though I typically wouldn't be down with that smell. Somehow it's working for me. It smells like the 19th century. Look at this view. I just want to stay here forever and ever. <laughs> I guess technically we could pause the video and stay here forever. So I don't necessarily have to stand around. <sighs> Come on, seriously. Seriously, people. I mean, what more do you want? What more, what more would I want? Nothing. Nothing. A little bit of sun, but that's just me being, you know, being picky. I defy anyone to walk through here and not pull out their phone for a, a few snapshots. How could you not photograph this? It'd be a shame not to. Ooh. Oh, come on, people. <laughs> it just makes me smile and laugh, which all good things in life should do. It's like an enchanted world just beckoning you forth. Oh, and I'm, I'm going, I'm going for it. <laughs> Look at, again, here you see the variation of color that I was talking about. Wow. Man, 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 oh man. And the ladies too, my goodness. Through the rows of petals. And this is just as good, if not better. Come on, people. I don't know why I keep saying that, but... Wow. And look at this colorful, beautiful little book drop-off. <laughs> oh, let's add some literature. Okay, this is the combo. It was already good enough with the, the flowers and the architecture, but let's throw in some French books. Jackpot, trifecta. Am I getting a bit too giddy? I know. Generally, you. You all like it when I'm being myself, is what I understand, so. That's what you're getting here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Put it in my mouth, it's so delicious. Look at this, look at this. Look at the colors. People, 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 people. Look at the colors. And the locals get to be part of these tableaus. They get to be part of these impressionist paintings just, just by walking to their homes or to the local market. There are some fun market streets in the 17th too that aren't too far away. Oh, again, somebody do me a favor, do yourself a favor, just pause the video right now and just enjoy this. <sighs> Come on. That's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Uh, uh, it's one of those moments where you know, you know your life's never gonna get any better than this. So you might as well, you might as well really settle into it. Maybe at this point I'm going a little too slow for some of you, but. That's what it, that's how it goes sometimes. Look at this. Look at this color palette here. Wow. 
Ça va pour le bruit, hein? allez-y. There's some people working out and I told them earlier that I was going to be filming. So they're being super nice and even were watching me decided to stop making noise during their workout. But I told them, no problem, go ahead. Look at this, look at this. Don't forget to turn around. Always look up and always turn around. Mm. Oh, I want to cry. I'm getting emotional. I really am. Is anyone else getting emotional out there? Hey, hey guy, you're getting emotional over there? No. He's getting a book is what he's getting. Jeez. How do these places even exist outside of my dreams? Come on, and then you can even frame it again if you want. Come. Wow. I guess I'm just speechless at this point. So we backed up and we framed it a different way. And then if you back up even more, guess what? More street lamps, more framing, and more framing. <laughs> oh, how I love this. Oh, how I love it. Oh, how I love this walk. You know, for what it's worth, I don't want to, um, I don't want to diss the more popular walkway near the Bastille called the Promenade Plantée or the Coulée Verte. I don't want to diss that one because it's lovely. But I guarantee you right now, it is not this flowery. So if you really want to get the full effect of the colors and the blooms, make, make your way over here to the 17th. And again, I don't do this often during the episode, but I'll remind you that if you're watching the premiere live right now, you can fire off a super chat very easily by clicking on the dollar sign of the chat room. And it's a great way to help support this cause and to give me the, uh, the means and the wherewithal to keep sharing these places with you. Otherwise, you'll find in the description plenty of other ways to support the project. Help it survive and thrive, which is what I used to say. Here's another view. Now here we might benefit from a bit of a zoom, so I'm gonna edit in a zoomed version of this. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That is not too shabby. Ooh, for all you Paris lovers out there, welcome to your dreams. And it goes without saying, imagine living in one of these apartments. Not only do you get to see this from your window, but you know that at any time you can come out different times of the year, depending on what's in bloom. I mean, and I'll just say it. If this doesn't move you, you're just a little bit dead inside. It's no big deal. Nobody's perfect. But if this isn't, just about the best thing ever. You gotta check your pulse. <sighs> oh, come on. And a little bit of sun, diffused sunlight's coming through. Come on, everybody. <sighs> come on, my, my eyes are getting misty over here. Jeez. <sighs> I'm literally, I'm literally welling up. How lucky are we? We're all so lucky. We are all so damn lucky. Okay. Merci. C'est bon. Merci beaucoup. Those people were so kind to not get in my way. Here's the next section. I think there's one more good section that will lead us to, as I said, the another beautiful little park. But let's just take one last long look at the Boulevard Pereire before we finish up the last part. Man. 
I feel like I'm just sighing and breathing into the mic repeatedly, but I don't know what else to do. And I don't know, I don't know what else to say at this point. Look at that with the shadow of the lamps. Just, <laughs> all right, all right. I hope I'm not going on too long with this. Clearly I'm feeling it, I'm having a moment. What can I say? And it was a real schlep to get my bike out here, by the way. Um, and perhaps when I got ready to film, right just before I arrived, perhaps I, I would say I was in a mediocre average mood. You know, nothing bad, nothing great. But this has completely woken me up. It's woken up my soul. It's woken up my soul, more or less, without getting too cheesy about it. Look at this, even before you enter this section here. Look at this. We're not even inside this section yet. Just more size. And this goes, let me step up on this. This leveliness goes quite a ways. <laughs> I'm glad this is a, um... Ah, c'est bon, merci, c'est bon. I'm glad that, uh... I should see this from the other side. What am I glad about? I forgot what I'm glad about. Oh yeah, I'm glad that uh, I'm not doing this one live that would reduce the, the quality of the video for you. I'm really happy that we get to, we get to all come back and enjoy this in a nice, sharp, crisp loveliness as it should be enjoyed. It's got a little patch of a side garden here. And the palette of colors, I'm repeating myself at this point, but the pattern, or the palette rather. <laughs> it's, that was probably a, a, a proper slip up to, to call it a pattern because I am repeating myself a lot. But anyway, what I wanted to say is the palette. The palette is so just spot on. Uh, uh, nom, nom, nom. Delicious. So I'll uh, also take this opportunity to remind everybody I am a full-time tour guide. In other words, I give in-person walking tours. You can find info about contacting me in the description of this video. So if you're on your way to Paris this year or next or anytime in the future, drop me a line and I would love to help show you around uh, in person sometime. To finish off the promenade here, we've got a, as you can say, a very very leafy, arcaded sort of walkway with the arches. And some of these arches happen to be full of white wisteria, which I saw a little bit earlier in the year, but the flowers are gone now. But just know if you were to come uh, earlier in May, you would see the white wisteria hanging down from many of these arches, which creates its own fantastic feeling. They're planting something. I don't know if it's a potager, like a vegetable garden, or if it'll be flowers, but... Look at this. Just what a beautiful... Beautiful, romantic... I guess that's the word I'm looking for. It's damn romantic, people. Whew. Mm, mm, mm. If you're with someone you love right now, or even someone you like, just turn and kiss them on the lips right now. I mean, the situation calls for it. Let's turn around and view this from the other side. Look at this.
Just a perfect little canopy. And this, even though it doesn't, it's not visually spectacular, let me just show you that it's cute that there's a little man-made pond right there with a little, what's going to be a bridge, I guess. So clearly this, this right here is in the stages of being redone, but that could be very cute someday. Sometimes you just don't want to leave. And there we have it, the Promenade Pereire, 1989. See the names of the brothers there. And uh, I'll flash the hours in case you're interested. Over here at what for us is the end of the garden walk. For some, I guess it could be the beginning. You see nice little bronze portraits of our boys. The creation of many railways in France and Europe. So these guys were bankers. They were members of parliament under Napoleon III and became big time bankers and titans of industry. Now here's where you could flash the, the classic, but wait, there's more. Because once we get through this traffic, you're gonna see that the vibe absolutely continues. We're gonna scoot our buns. Scoot those buns, scoot those buns. Oh. Look at this. Okay, here we go. This is a, it's called a square technically. It's called the Square Albert Bénard. He was an artist who lived in this area. He died in this area. Painter and an engraver. And there's a bust of that artist that we'll see in a moment. Albert Bénard. But the flowers here are very much, very much in tune with what we've seen so far. And we will definitely zoom in on that, but hello. Raise your hand if you wanna be transported to this bench right now. What? What? Hey, Matthew, if you're out there watching, that was for you, buddy. He likes it when I say, what? In the blue sky, woo. Same lampposts. I'm gonna get emotional again. I'm gonna do it. I'm not scared. Look at this. Let me flash the bust of the artist just to give him a shout out. I don't know too much about him, to be honest. But I love this park so much. Mr. Benal. With a pigeon on his head. You can see the spelling of his name is a little bit different. This happened to be this bust was done by one of the sons of this gentleman. So his, one of his kids did this sculpture of, of his father. Quite nice. And let's go back through here. What? 
This is a popular spot for people's uh, dogs. Oh, with a doggy. You're living your best life, doggy. Yes, hello. Coucou. Salut, chien. Ça va? Coucou. T'es beau, t'es beau. T'es beau, t'es beau. All right. Don't jump. Don't jump the fence and do anything <laughs> regrettable. <laughs> probably just wants a probably just wants a cuddle. All right, I think I've shown you most angles of this park. Hope you appreciate it. Hope you're digging it. And what a lovely cherry on the top of the cake, icing on the cake after our walkway of the Boulevard Pereira. And I hope you enjoy that, folks. Maybe let's finish with a view of something like that. Okay, everybody, that's going to do it. I wanted to show you some more stuff in this neighborhood, but I think it would go on a little bit too long. So why don't we make it a part two next week? You can join me for some beautiful architecture and little market streets and, and great details. So why don't we do that? And if you want to support this project and help it to continue, uh, you'll find the, the links in the description. Also, if you are a Patreon member, you can go and join me right now in our Facebook group live as I stream a, a private chat from my backyard, which is also looking quite leafy and flowery this time of year. So I hope to see my patrons over there to have a drink and have a, a chat. So hope you enjoyed the Promenade Pereire, even with sirens, a beautiful, beautiful walk, to say the least. <laughs> I certainly enjoyed myself. I hope you did too. And I will say goodbye to you and catch you on the next one. Take care.